So let's try and figure out why the 00165 board is no backlight. So we're going to see what we have on backlight output. Backlight output is 10. Nah, 13.8 volts. So it's 15 volts, 8 volts, 9 volts, 8 volts. Sad. Yeah, 8.5 volts on backlight output. So that would tend to imply, as usual, either backlight enables not present or no feedback. First, either feedback is missing from here to the chip or enable is missing at BKL and EN. So let's check out BKL EN. I can just right click on BKL EN and it shows right up. Thanks to the software produced by Paul Daniels. So backlight enable is already present, you say? 2.8. It is present. Let's check backlight PWM. 3.3. So it's being told to be bright. All right, so let's remove this LED driver and do some testing. I think that feedback is not connected. Feedback is going to be between here and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if feedback is connected to backlight output. Now, according to the board view software, the backlight output is actually present on these two pins. So if it's not, I'm just going to solder a wire there, and hopefully that'll fix it. So let's see what resistance we get between backlight output and feedback. Zero ohms. Now let's see what we get between the other side of the board backlight output and there. Zero ohms. Last Christmas I gave you my heart Yeah that's the only thing that makes sense. Maybe you burned it. It's always possible. Did you reball the original? You promise? You asked me about doing that like 10 times. Derek, does he sound like he's telling the truth? Me either. He sounds like he's full of it to me. All right. Let's examine my balls. Hmm. Good balls. Beautiful balls. Lovely. Okay. Let's see if we get a light. Those balls are unclean. Those balls are cleaner than you could ever imagine. And I will continue to play with my balls. Do you ever have dreams or nightmares about your job? Sometimes I'll get home and I'll go to sleep and like two or three in the morning I'll have a dream and then I'll, about a board that I couldn't fix and I'll have fixed it in the dream and then I've woken up and rode my bike to the store and then actually fixed it using the information from the dream. That's cool when that happens. All right, do we get a light? Let's see. What do we have? Come on. Give me a question mark. If there's a, qu if there's a question mark, that means not only did he destroy my camera, but he cannot solder an LED driver. At which point, we're going to put his head through the, through the bars in the window over there and just... But there was 8 volts. It, there was no backlight when I measured it originally. You're buying me a red camera. 
ultrasonic this and put it back together. <laughs> You're going into the gallows. Next. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. We even got rid of our old terrible merchant services provider that used to decline random transactions for no reason. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today. We're going to get started on this no backlight A1466 MacBook Air and go from there. Not like you're the model employee. I'm an amazing employee. But the person that broke the camera said that they would get me a nice shiny new red camera. He's been talking about the red camera for the past two weeks nonstop. And now he finally has a chance to get me one. This is an 820-3437, which is fairly old. The backlight circuit's going to be right over here on D7701. It's going to be the output. As usual, I can just click one button. And thanks to the magic of Paul Daniels, it just brings me right to that area on the board. Check out his software at pldaniels.com. Don't delay. Subscribe today and get a free 30-year guarantee that his software will always work with Windows Defender antivirus. That's actually a joke. Okay, so first thing we got to do before we do any sort of backlight testing is have the machine open on the desk. If the machine is not open on the desk, it won't know to turn on the backlight. It's not going to turn on the backlight if it's actually closed. Fortunately, you can't see me when I open or close the machine because my overhead camera is dead. Poor little overhead cam. Rest in peace. He had a good life, 2016, 2018. But it's off to a new world now. The HDMI ports in those are really crappy, I gotta say. Like my, a, my NEX EA50, I have abused the hell out of that thing. And the HDMI ports are still good. And that Sony camera just sat there doing nothing. Never get, you know, and it, and it died. And, the HDMI, and then I replaced the HDMI port, and then it died again. And then it's just, that's some BS. As you can see, we're getting 7.5 volts an output, which means that it's just not boosting. It's not that the fuse is blown, because if the fuse is blown, then I'd be getting zero on backlight output. The fact that I'm getting eight means it's working, it's just not boosting. So we're going to take the board out of the machine and take a look and go from there and see what's going on and see if we can figure out what's causing my problem. So let's take this board out of the machine. Unfortunately, since we don't have an overhead camera, you're going to have to see my face, which is, if there's any way that I can trick all of you into buying me a new overhead camera, it should probably be if forcing you to watch more of my face. So let's get started. I'm going to get my magnet and we're going to take this board out of the computer and you're going to be stuck looking at me. Oh yeah. Paul, are you still getting all those Richard Stallman-ish comments because after three years of making free software for the board repair community, you finally decided to charge $79 for something that's life-changing and time-saving. And it's amazing, because it's not like Paul Daniels is a dude that has nickel and dime people over the years. All the stuff that he's released, he has released for free to everybody. The one time he's like, may I please have some bread, sir? I would please like some bread, sir, for this new software I've created, sir. They're like, no bread for you. Mm. Dare you violate the GPL. You want to go back to Landrex? Seriously, you want to go back to Landrex? Because I was thinking of doing another shill video for Paul, but I was going to do it to the tune of that Frank Sinatra song, you know, Just give me an old-fashioned Christmas. Except instead of that, he'd be singing, Just give me an old-fashioned board view. I love me that old-fashioned board view. And throughout the video, I would be, while that song was playing, I'd be fixing a board using Landrex instead of open board view, just to remind people what type of hell we lived in before Paul Daniels. I think people forget what it used to be like. Do you fuckers realize that this in this business, you had to use fucking Landrex from that hasn't been updated since 1995? Nobody gave a crap about you. Nobody. And then Paul Daniels came along, and he cared about us. So damn straight, I'll show his software for free. Okay, well, we got the board out of the computer. Now we're going to take a look at what that backlight area looks like under the microscope. Vandermark says Landrex can burn in hell. It's one of those things, like on the internet, if the best way to get an answer to a question is not to ask, it's to give the wrong answer. And the best way to get somebody to program something good for you is to not to ask them. It's just to, 
It's just to use really bad software on camera over and over again. So as you can see, the backlight circuit is going to be U7701, which if I right click, will bring me right to that chip on the board. You can see that that's on the other side of the board, which is going to be over here. And let's see what that looks like. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of pubes. So as you can see, if we look under the chip, it looks like that ball at the bottom right has been taken over by pubic hair. Look at that. See that? Gross. So we're going to remove that and see if that solves our problem. So I'm going to put the ch some flux on the chip. Flux available on store.rossmangroup.com. And after that flux is on my chip, I'm going to get the hot air and the soldering station on. I often see you cleaning up with Q-tips, wondering why you don't use soft toothbrush to avoid fuzz. Because the toothbrush doesn't actually absorb anything, it just spreads stuff around, whereas a Q-tip actually absorbs. I'm really happy Paul put in the work that he did. I've been using his new software and it's great. A big recommendation to anyone in repair, and a big thanks to at Paul Daniels from Rick Vandermark. Indeed, a big thank you to Paul Daniels. Not enough good things I could say about Paul Daniels. Okay, we've gotten the chip taken off, and you can see that the ball on the bottom right is smaller than the other balls. If I zoom in, you'll see that our ball on the bottom right is smaller than the rest because it's corroded itself away. But that's fixable. We can make this work. All you got to do is a little bit of flux over there. By the way, all the flux that we got now at store.rossmangroup.com is completely fresh. New batch arrived today. We got some beautiful Amtec flux. There we go. Turn on soldering iron. I'm going to wick away the old solder. I'm going to clean this off. Make that pretty. Very nice. Now we're going to get ourselves a new LED driver. I wonder where we could find an LED driver if, it, if we found out that we needed an LED driver. Well, this is an 820-3437 board. So if I needed an LED driver, what I would do is I would head over to store.rossmangroup.com and I would type in the number of my board. When you type in the number of your motherboard, you can simply click, or before you click, you can check it out and you'll see that it lists all the different chips that are required in your board. An LED driver actually shows up right over here. If I didn't want to click right over there, and I want to see all the chips available, all I got to do is click here, and it'll bring me up all the different parts that are available for that machine, from batteries, DC inboards, trackpads, SMC stencils, trackpad connectors, backlight fuses, clock chips, 5-volt regulators, SMC reset ICs, or even LED drivers. Click, and you'll find that you can buy it for $279. Buy in quantity, and it's even as low as $249. Buy five for $249 each and save 11% on your chip. Don't delay. Buy today. Do you ship to Germany? Absolutely. We ship all products to Germany. We're happy to ship to Germany. We're just going to put a little bit of flux on there. Get ourselves a brand new LED driver sourced from store.rossmangroup.com and put that beautiful new LED driver right on our board. Press down, as easy as pie. We're gonna preheat it a little bit before we put the iron really close. See, if the board itself is cool, it's gonna absorb the heat. So even if the chip is burning, the pads will be cold because the board is cold and it's absorbing the heat. So I need the board to be warm. You use new parts. Are you sick? This is BGA. I'm not reballing a chip that costs $2 or $3 or whatever. Screw that. So now that the board is kind of warm, I can move my hot air directly over the chip. And there it goes. Now once I see that it's kind of dropped, I'm going to move the hot air around and make the chip dance. Dance, baby, dance. And after five seconds of the chip dancing, I move it away. We're going to let it cool off a little bit. Do you ship to Texas? Of course we ship to Texas. 
Do you think the upcoming trade tariffs will in fact, uh, impact the price on parts by a notable margin? Not really. For reasons that I can't say in, uh, in a public live stream. But, okay, so let's take a look. Look at what those balls look like. Those are some beautiful balls, folks. Those are beautiful. That is sexy. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, those are some quality balls. Loving it. Loving it. Now, this board's probably going to have a beautiful backlight, and uh, let's just plug it in and see if we get a backlight. I bet we're going to get a beautiful backlight. Don't forget to buy your LED driver from store.rossmangroup.com. Don't delay. Buy today, because I need to get myself a new overhead camera since somebody broke it. No, I'm kidding. That thing was dying anyway. I can't blame him all for it. I kind of can. Makes me feel better to blame him for it. Do you do local pickup? Absolutely. If you check out and choose local pickup, you can pick up your device in store. With all your experience in this industry, how much do you have to learn the hard way, like messing something up or pissing someone off? Oh, all the time. Still piss people off, but for not really the reasons that you would expect. But yeah, you know. How do you think any of us learn how to do most of this stuff? You have to screw up. The other thing is you should just screw up on things that belong to you versus things that belong to others. And if you screw up on something that belongs to somebody else, you'd better be able to fix it or be willing to replace it for them. Do you have any fears that Apple will be producing quality products and you'll have to start working for your money by fixing other <laughs> quality products? <laughs> you think Apple's going to start producing quality products? Lol. L O F King L. All right, by the way, as you can see, we have a backlight on the screen, which means that we've made this board great again. So, with that, we are going to be moving on to the next board. Is your MacBook disgusting? Is your MacBook filled to the brim with sweaty pubic hair? If that's the case, you need an ultrasonic cleaner, and store.rossmangroup.com is the place to get it to you. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find an ultrasonic cleaner tailored to your specific need. Whether you need something that's small for a cell phone board like a P230, or a large ultrasonic cleaner like the P1200 for a larger touch bar, we've got you covered. We've even got large special order types of ultrasonic cleaners like the P2600H45 that are great for car parts and firearms. With over 1,000 five-star reviews on shopperapproved.com, you can't go wrong. Don't delay. Buy today. As always, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.